A long time ago, a person's eyes, nose and mouth had a meeting. The eyes said, We are of utmost importance to the body. Everything must be visible to us. Only we know whether a person is beautiful or not, big or small, high or low. Without us, even walking would be very difficult. Therefore, the eyes are very important. But we are mistakenly placed under the eyebrows, which is useless. It is simply not fair. The nose said, I am the most important part of the body. I can distinguish a good smell from an unpleasant smell. The process of breathing depends on me. If I do not allow the air to pass through, everyone will die. So, I am the most important part of the body, but I am unfairly put under these useless eyebrows. Now it was the turn of the mouth. The mouth said, I am the most important part of the human body. I can speak. If it were not for me, there would be no communication between people. I help people in eating. If it were not for me, everyone would die of hunger. I am such an important part of the body, but I am placed in the lower part of the face, whereas these useless eyebrows have been applied to the upper part of the face. This is not fair. After listening to the eyes, nose and mouth speak, the eyebrows spoke slowly. Please don't blame any more. I agree. We are definitely the most useless things. We are ready to be placed under you. Saying so, the eyebrows dropped below the eye. Unfortunately, the person no longer looked like a human. Then the eyebrows dropped below the nose. It was still awful. It still didn't look like a person. Then the eyebrows dropped below the mouth. The face looked even more terrible. The eyes, nose and mouth squeezed to discuss the situation. They came to the conclusion that it would be better if the eyebrows returned to their original place on the face. That was the most suitable place for them. As instructed, the eyebrows returned to their original place and it became a human face again. In life, through this story, we see what seems to be the most useless can sometimes really be the most useful to us. If we think we have weaknesses, think again. Maybe it is these weaknesses that makes us strong, what makes us compassionate. We are all unique. All the attributes and characteristics that we possess for some reason may be useful to us or for others. We only need to search.